Welcome to the Tech Architect. My name is Imran Ashraf and you are watching Win Windows 10 Tips and Troubleshooting video series. Viewers, this is the second video of this series and in this video uh, we will discuss what's new in Windows uh, 10. Uh, first of all, we will start from stay up to date while staying in flow. Uh, news and interest on the taskbar provides easy access to the information that is important to you without the distraction of switching between the apps. Websites and the other devices view your location, current weather condition directly on your taskbar and hover over the uh, icon uh, to see the uh, concise. Uh, if I show you this, like I am, uh, if I am connected with the internet, I'm, I think I am, no, no, this is showing. Uh, so scannable information from sports. Uh, uh, from sports and stocks to the local news and breaking headlines. When you select or hover over the weather icon in your taskbar, you will open the news address. From here, you will see the content covering the news, weather, weather, traffic and many, much, uh, many, many more. Content updates throughout the day and is designed to keep you updated. You can choose how temperatures look like, uh, looks like in Celsius or in Fahrenheit and uh, it is opening the website and going to the uh, web page as well. So turn the news and interest on the uh, on and off. You need uh, to right click on the blank area space on in the taskbar and select news interest and interest then turn off. Now it's uh, no longer appear uh, in the uh, if we select I, I just told you the Fahrenheit and the uh, and uh, foreign height and just notice that if I right click and show news and interest it will be disappeared from here turn off and it will be gone again if I want this to back so news and interest and turn it on it will be showing again here so this is the here you can see the next thing is what is your favorite mode make sure the apps and the app, app tiles uh, stand out with the light or dark mode for this you need to go to the start button settings and personalization and here the colors under choose color customize you can see dark mode the light mode whatever you want to choose you can change these settings this is the light and this is the dark now it's it's taking some time and this is the dark mode you can also whatever you want this is the light this is the light and everything you can you just notice the next thing is keep tabs on your website tab when you are on frequently used website and have a lot of tabs open pin and site and site to your taskbar uh, then just hover over the pin to see preview and open the tabs uh, to pin the website like if i uh, open the microsoft edge settings this is the setting option and here you can see more tools and this is the pin to the taskbar this is uh, this option is deactivated now let me open a website and it will be now showing as active and it will be the pin to the here you can see google is if i close this from here 
and open directly from my start bar right and the next thing is if I want this to the start it will be going to my start button yes do you want to pin this uh, tile to the start yes now I if I close this and go to the start button and here this is the Google is showing the same thing right the next thing is the quickly jump between open web uh, pages alt plus tab alt plus tab uh, key from the keyboard will uh, give you the option uh, where you want to uh, in which page or in which option you want to go like if I select this uh, Firefox it will be showing me this and if I go back to my slides the same I want uh, I will click but uh, uh, if I want to open more tabs like again I need to go to uh, tab this is the Google uh, alt plus app uh, tab this is a Google and the first tab is the I just opened if I want to go to the Google this is opening Google and the same thing is going happening the next thing is have a magnifier uh, read text allowed uh, like magnifier screen magnify feature that comes with Windows 10 and uh, can also read the text allowed to uh, use it turn in magnifying and the setting and press the windows uh, logo plus the uh, plus sign like if i press windows uh, logo sign press um, plus and plus sign here uh, you just notice everything is magnified and this is the uh, uh, basically uh, the bar from here you can uh, you, you you just notice it is 400 percent which i can uh, reduce and it's again 100 percent and this uh, uh, toolbar is showing uh, if you go to the speed uh, of uh, from increase or decrease and if you want this to read your test text you need to press this run and select this and it will be reading uh, maybe you notice that there is some uh, voice it's very uh, slow because uh, right now I am recording so voice maybe you may uh, not listen this voice uh, I can close this option from here but this is very handy feature the next thing is add emoji from your keyboard yes you can also uh, add emojis from um, uh, fr from your keyboard uh, for this you need to uh, you need to press the windows plus the period sign the full stop uh, like I think it you need to go to the uh, into the word and it will be showing here it is not opening I'm not sure why it's not working but here this is the emoji keyboard and you can select whatever you want so mm, this is not only limited to the mo to your mobile this is also available in MS Word the next thing is the take a snip of what you uh, what's on your screen when you want to take snips of your screen just press the Windows logo plus shift plus s windows plus shift plus s and it will be uh, asking you to select the area for which you want to take the snip although you also uh, have the option for the uh, snip is available but this is shortcut this is the snipping tool you already used to uh, but here you can also use this uh, shortcut windows plus shift plus uh, s key so viewers this is all about windows 10 uh, what's new in windows 10 if you have learned something new please share this video with your friends and feel free to subscribe thank you for uh, watching and bye for now